We're now ready to consider particle in a 1D box quantum mechanically. What we're going to do is to take our classical description and change it into a quantum mechanical description. What we're going to do is to solve the Schrodinger equation h psi equal e psi using the Hamiltonian operator which we're going to obtain by considering the classical Hamiltonian. So classically we said that the Hamiltonian h is equal to the kinetic energy plus the potential energy which we give the symbol V and uh, for particle in a box the kinetic energy was just the momentum squared over 2 times the mass of the particle plus the potential energy we set that equal to 0 it was a constant which we set equal to 0 now to go from the classical description to the quantum mechanical description we replace these quantities by operators so the Hamiltonian operator is the kinetic energy operator plus the potential energy operator so let's look at kinetic energy p squared over 2m what's the Hamiltonian or what is the uh, operator corresponding to momentum well momentum is just equal to minus i h bar first derivative with respect to x so momentum squared and again this is in one direction so momentum squared will be let's see minus one times minus one will be positive one but we'll get the minus back again because i squared is minus one so this will be equal to minus h bar squared the first derivative or sorry the second derivative now with respect to x so that's what that means to square the operator you take the second derivative so if we put this second derivative in here we get that the kinetic energy operator is minus h bar squared over 2m times the second derivative with respect to x and now this potential energy operator well it's zero so it's just zero here there it is so there is the Hamiltonian operator quantum mechanically for particle in a 1d box so there it is that's kinetic energy and we said the potential energy is we're setting that equal to zero all right well uh, why is that well just let's draw that picture here what we're drawing here this is the x direction and this is the potential v of x going up this way we're going to set the potential at the ends of the box to infinity and this will become important when we consider potentials that are not at, um, not at infinity later on. All right, so the potential is zero everywhere inside the box, and it's infinite outside the box. There's infinite potential out here, infinite potential out there. So that means we have the particle in this box, infinite potential. Also, we're going to make bounds of the box. We're going to label that zero on the left-hand side, and a on the right hand side so there's x is 0 x is a potential 0 goes up to infinity and this is the fancy way of saying that when x is between 0 and a the potential is 0 outside the box was less than 0 or greater than a the potential is infinity all right so if we now look at just the um, operator for the particle and now the particle is constrained to be in this box it can't go outside the box then we say that this kinetic energy operator will operate just inside the box from 0 to a and therefore we get this for the Schrodinger equation so this again is the quantum mechanical operator h this is psi equal e psi so there is the Schrodinger equation for a, a particle in a one-dimensional box now the next uh, video we're going to solve the Schrodinger equation and solving the Schrodinger equation means find the wave functions and energies or another way to say that is find the eigenfunctions psi and the eigenvalues of this eigenvalue equation.